Tonight, police and district officials are urging families to have some serious discussions after a gun showed up at a school again at Roy High School. New special Sandra Adams joining us live right now. And Andrew, this is actually the third time that they found a gun, right? Third time in two weeks. And the concern here primarily is safety. Police say it's incumbent on everyone to do their part. I know I've seen on Facebook some parents are worried, some students are worried. It's the one call officers hope never to receive. Saying that there's a gun at the school or a threat at the school. And police say over the past two weeks, they fielded three calls from Roy High School. The first one, we had a student here at the school who had a loaded firearm inside of his waistband. This past week was just too much, with not one call. Kid had a an unloaded firearm on him. But two, in two days. There was an, a rifle in the trunk of his car. While investigators say it appears there were no sinister plans in any of the cases. The first two said that that was just for protection. Simply bringing a gun to school is a crime. You are looking at a class A misdemeanor and the recent pattern has been not only alarming to police, but administrators. And you suspect that it, it probably happens more than we know. Weber School District says there has been a positive to come from these cases. Students, others feel comfortable enough to come to an adult and report a concern. They're urging families, though, to take accountability. And so we need to have parents as part of the solution in, in dealing with this. I've been here for 12 years. I don't know that we've actually pulled the guns out of the school prior to this. Police hope recent events don't mean a trend. Two in two days is very concerning. And they're also encouraging parents to do their part. Having those important conversations and making sure that those things stay home where they belong, not here at the school. Well, police say in all three of the cases, the kids are facing charges. Again, officers underscore, even if there isn't malicious intent, it's still a crime to bring a gun to school. Back to you. Yeah, regardless, it's pretty unnerving. All right, Andrew, thank you.